Hi, welcome back beauty beebs. My name is Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I want to be doing the palette tag. Uh, you know, I am a makeup hoarder and palettes are my absolute favorite thing to collect. I swear every time I go on a makeup haul, I'm always buying if not one, but two palettes or more right now in my Ulta cart and my Sephora cart are lots of palettes and I'm just trying to save my money right now, but they're there, they're waiting for me. <laughs> so today, yes, I will be doing the palette tag. So let's get started. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad so the very first question for the palette tag show your newest palette and my newest palette the one i got the most recent is the conspiracy palette the first time around i obviously didn't get it then the second time around i got the bloodlust palette i got the blood sugar palette and then i also got the jawbreaker palette and i was torn between getting the conspiracy palette or not because just from online i was like mm, i don't know if i would use some colors and my sister-in-law sunjun got it and i was like okay yeah i need that palette it's really pretty <laughs> so then the next time it came back i mean i was so desperate for this thing i almost spent like 90 dollars um like on poshmark or something to get it but i'm 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 happy i waited because i got it for the normal price and if you haven't seen this palette yeah it's fresh out of the packaging i haven't even i haven't even opened it so there it is, the Conspiracy palette. Um, comment below if you want me to do a tutorial or review on this. If you haven't seen it, there it is. And also, I thought this palette was really cool because I recently just started to get into Shane Dawson's Conspiracies um, on his channel. And oh boy, are they entertaining. So now moving on to my oldest palette. And my oldest palette is actually Naked Three. This is um, the first like legitimate makeup I ever got. And I got it as a Christmas present for my aunt. And then every year it became a new tradition where she would give me a naked palette. <laughs> Cause I love the brand so much. So uh, this is Naked Three. If you haven't seen this palette, it's just beautiful, like more rose tone neutrals, but it's perfect for every day. And honestly, it was hard to not pick that one as also my most used palette. But don't worry, um, I don't have any doubles on here. Okay, so then moving on to my most expensive palette. So I uh, obviously my most expensive palette are my Jeffree Star palettes. Um, I have always wanted the Natasha palettes, but I just I can't I can't talk myself into spending that much money. And they're on sale right now, and even now I'm like would i use them like they're like the same price as jeffree stars actually they're more than jeffree stars and i like his stuff better <laughs> so i got the cremated palette instead <laughs> and yes i will definitely be doing a tutorial and review on that when that comes in but yes so this is my most expensive palette as of right now it's the jeffree star bloodless palette um i just recently did a tutorial yes it will be linked above and below First of all, I mean, the reason why it's also so expensive is because it's literally velvet. Like, this is velvet. That's so cool. It's also, like, definitely my coolest shade palette. Like, it's just shaped so pretty and cool. Kind of makes it hard to store, but that's okay because I have it on, like, display, basically, because it's so pretty. Um, then my most affordable palettes. Uh, so this was a little difficult uh for me so um as of right now this is my cheapest palette um it is the color pop um anna and elsa palette i have both and they are both the exact same price um they're originally 14 dollars but um i got them on sale for like 11.90 guys i told you i'm obsessed with sales but if you haven't seen it it's really really pretty it's super cute super sweet um i love this one and i love the elsa one if you don't know um i am obsessed with frozen like obsessed um my bridal shower was actually frozen themed our wedding was disney themed because i can't put just one so yes i love disney and i love frozen um i'm hoping to start on my channel soon a uh, series where i do princess makeup and then dress up like a princess because i own 
a lot of the costumes and cosplay for that. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon if you want to see that. So next up is my everyday palette. My everyday palette, I, I assume this to be because obviously I don't use the same palette every day. I kind of like to change it up like a lot. <laughs> so I took this to mean everyday colors. Um, I personally think everyday colors, it would have to be Tardiest and Bloom palette. Um, obviously these are super everyday colors. Uh, you saw this palette I used in my, what I, my makeup used to be in middle school video. And if you haven't seen that, it will be a link above and below. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, she's playing with a wire. That's my cat. I have two cats. Um, that's Phoebe right now. She's playing with a wire. And uh, Sweeney wanted to do a makeup tutorial, but I had to kick him out. <laughs> okay, so next is my most colorful palette is my uh, Jawbreaker by uh, Jeffree Star palette. And I just think this is definitely the most colorful palette I own. Um, I'm not big into colors, but I um, wanted to challenge myself today. So I did this like cotton candy look. Also, cause I'm not going anywhere. So who cares what my makeup looks like, am I right? It's just for you guys. And then uh, my biggest palette, which shouldn't be a surprise is the James Charles palette. Um, I'm actually wearing James Charles today. I have James Charles eyeshadow on, and then I'm even using his face highlighter. His face highlighter. It's a mood. James Charles is definitely my biggest palette and also my like tied with my most colorful one too. Um, I love it. I kind of want to get the mini one too just because I, I want to experiment with that formula and see how better it is and see how better it is. Also, I never realized how cute the names are. Like right now I'm really into James Charles videos and like I just realized he has a shade name called Pinkity Drinkity and that makes me so happy <laughs> okay so now my smallest palette i had to pick this little tiny little baby one that i haven't even used yet it's, uh estee lauder it's estee lauder pure color mb eye and cheek palette and when i open this you're gonna be like wow that's really small at least in my opinion like how are you even gonna get a brush in there like but some of those colors are like really pretty i do want to experiment with them but it's really tiny so a lot of times I just forget about it. Okay, so next is I uh, show your palette with the best memory. Um, you guys all know that Soft Glam is absolutely my favorite palette. Yes, I use this for my wedding. So, um, I mean, your wedding has to be your best memory, right? <laughs> But yes, I just, I love this palette so much. And then I also now have the memory of that video that I just did. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> Great. Okay, so then after your best memory, it's show your palette worth the hype. Uh, I love this palette so much. Um, I was so hesitant to buy it because I was looking at it and I was like, would I use all of these colors? And of course I don't use all those colors, but I use a lot of them. It's honestly like one of my favorite new neutral looks I've created with this palette. So I love it. The glitters are awesome. Um, it has a lot of good neutral shades as well as a glitter. You know how I feel about glitter shimmer shades. So I think it's it's definitely worth the hype. Um, a lot of people were bashing on this palette, mostly just because they were expecting um, the Jeffree Star formula and it's Morphe formula. But Morphe formula is still amazing, okay? Like these people would not do collabs with Morphe if they more amazing and they are they're just really affordable y'all forget that sometimes um okay so you show your palette not worth the hype please please don't hate me in the comments ever because i can't handle it but it's the kylie palettes they're just way overpriced like they're okay okay for forty dollars for forty dollars and nine shades i expect perfection I expect this to be MAC formula if you're gonna be the same price and the same shade. So it's just not worth it to me. Yes, these are these are pretty colors, but like the formula's okay. It's just not worth the money. I mean, I got it on sale for $19, and even then I think that's a little too expensive. But that's not my business. That's, that's just the tea right there. Moving along. 
Uh, next is a show your favorite palette from your favorite brand. Uh, my favorite brand is Jeffree Star. I will literally buy anything he sells me. I love Jeffree Star and I love his brand. Um, so my favorite palette by him is the Blood Sugar Palette. Um, you guys know I've used this palette before. Um, I just love the colors in here. It's super cute. Um, it also has really great neutral shades and I just love it. And I'm really, really excited for the Cremated Palette. Like, I know there was like drama and everything, but I was like, keep the drama coming because then maybe there will be less people on the site so I can buy it and I ended up buying it okay moving on to your most used palette so for of course I was thinking um to use the naked three palette but then I was just like um I don't want to say that again but another one I use if not as much or more than the naked three is my naked heat palette this is the second naked palette I got from my aunt and I use this one a lot it's just it's really pretty neutral tones I used to wear this all the time at work when I used to work at Olive Garden because look good feel good that was my philosophy and it still is to this day um but yes it's got some beautiful neutral shades I just feel like this works for pretty much any color skin like let's be real I feel like the cherry and the honey is a little more constricting for skin tone but I feel like the heat works for every skin tone so then it show your most underrated palette I don't know why this wasn't talked about more but the Bronze Skulls palette is amazing. I was so shook when I got it and I started wearing it because, I mean, these are gorgeous. I mean, these sh shimmers are ooh, so pretty. It's such a pretty neutral palette. Once again, I feel like this would go with um, any skin tone and it's, it's just really pretty, especially if you're like me and you like shimmel shades. And I also feel like there's a lot of colors in there that would work great for contour or great as a highlighter. Since apparently we do that now, we use eyeshadow as contour. Okay, and then next, this is technically from like a different one, um, a different tag, but I want to include it too just to include more things so the last one I have is best color name I honestly I think that this burn book um, by storybook cosmetics guys if you know this movie you know why these color names are fetch so we have is butter a carb rule Glen Coco, So Fetch, Wednesday, and of course it's pink. And then we have She Doesn't Even Go Here that literally used to be a sticker on my laptop. <laughs> and then uh, the plastics, Regina George, Mouse, Duh, You Can't Sit With Us, Cool Mom, and October 3rd. Well, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Like and subscribe below. Make sure you click that bell icon so you don't miss any of my latest What's and greatest not, content. You know, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar